and Michelle. Today's topic is what we see all over the city, manhole covers. Have you ever had the experience of slipping over a wet manhole cover on a rainy day? Well, today's Takumi or innovator has developed a cutting edge anti-slip manhole cover. Let's go and find out what it's like. We visited a manhole cover manufacturer in Kuki City, Saitama Prefecture. Hello, I'm Michelle. Hello, I'm Takashi Inoue. Today's Takumi is Takashi Inoue. He has developed many kinds of manhole covers. And this is the manhole cover with an anti-slip feature. Why did the Takumi develop such a manhole cover? It has to do with the sewage situation in Japan. The sewer system in Japan is constructed under the roadways, so the manhole covers are seen on the surface of the roads. Because of that, when the manhole covers are wet with rain, they become slippery and motorbike accidents can easily occur. There was even a case when a motorcyclist injured a pedestrian. The cause of the accident was the bike that slipped over a manhole cover. Let's see how the Takumi succeeded in making manhole covers with high skid resistance. Let's compare the Takumi's covers with the conventional cover. The left is the conventional one and the right is the Takumi's. You can see that the Takumi's manhole cover has an intricate design and an uneven surface. Let's watch an experiment to check the level of skid resistance for the Takumi's cover. This is a device that was developed by the Takumi to measure the grip level. By applying the brakes to a rotating motorbike tire, the device can digitize the power of resistance. Zero is the state of a very slick condition. One is the state of strong resistance indicating a non-slip condition. For this experiment, the manhole cover is sprayed with water and the tire is rotated at 30 km per hour. This is a concrete manhole cover made to resemble a road. When it is measured, 0.58. This is the measurement of a wet road condition. Next, an ordinary manhole cover is measured. It measured 0.15. This is like hitting the brakes on a snowy road. It's quite scary. Next, the manhole cover developed by the Takumi. It measured 0.55. It's almost the same as the measurement of the road, indicating a high grip level. The secret is in the pattern on the surface. An ordinary manhole cover has a bigger design on the surface. Looking at the cross section, it shows few grooves providing the tire less places to penetrate into, making it slippery. But the Takumi's manhole cover has a more intricate design. With more grooves, it provides better resistance against slipping. But as you continue to use it, won't the manhole cover wear and become slippery? Normally, yes, but our manhole covers retain the non-slip state. The Takumi realized that good grip depends on the sharpness of the convex edges that come in contact with the tire and its area. So the Takumi created dents in the convex edges. So when the edges wear down and become rounded, a new edge would appear. 
This is the way the Takumi made the manhole covers retain the anti-slip state. Inoue and his team began developing this anti-slip manhole cover over 20 years ago in 1996. They're continuing to study the convex edges to create an even more durable and superior manhole cover. By pursuing the development of manhole covers, Inoue hopes to contribute to the improvement of road safety. I want to develop an even better one, a safer one. I will continue my pursuit to develop the next generation anti-slip manhole cover. Here we have the Takumi's anti-slip manhole covers. The one on the left is the one we saw in the video, and next to it are the artistic manhole covers. Dr. Sato mentioned earlier in the show about manhole covers with designs that represent each region. Well, those are also manufactured by the Takumi's company. Wow, this is very impressive. And Michelle, I know that you are a manhole enthusiast yourself, so it must have been really exciting to visit this Takumi. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do the beautiful manhole covers also have an anti-slip feature? Well, they don't have the exact same grip level. But yes, the slip-resistant technology is being applied. The Takumi has spread out the convex edges, making the covers as slip-resistant as possible without spoiling the design. However, there are places that are still slick depending on the design. So the Takumi says he wants to continue to make improvements. I see. Well, I hope he will have a good grip on both safety and design of manhole covers in the future. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Sato, today we cover the topic of the new era of wearable sensors. What are your thoughts on this? With wearable sensors, it will be possible to measure a wide variety of things. But what is important is how the results are presented. Being informed of unpleasant results may have a negative effect and discourage a person. Taking this aspect into account will be a challenge. In the future, when analyzing human behavior and emotions using wearable sensors, psychologists need to play an active role in the research. They will be crucial in providing a positive outcome for the test subject and in helping the research progress smoothly. And that's all for this week's Science View. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. <laughs>